trust me i spent a long time looking for these items that i'm talking about i didn't just buy it like this i actually make sure that i shopped around so I'm, I'm really showing you what i spent so much time looking for and then eventually purchasing namaste my beauties and welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode three of the ultimate backpacking guide to get you ready for your trip around the world so in today's episode i'm going to be showing you the essential items that i believe you will definitely need before you go on your long-term backpacking trip even if it's not long term it's short Short term for me i don't think i'd be able to travel without them and i think they are so essential and i still use them now even if i'm just doing like a little short weekend trip away so i really hope this helps you all and everything that i speak about today i will link it down in the description box below most of these items i got on amazon but the items that i didn't get on amazon i will still link them down below so that you can all find those items there so the first part of this video i'm going to talk about the main essential items that i think would be best for you to get and then at the end of the video i'm going to be showing you the items that I think are essential for me but might not be so much essential for you guys it just really depends on you as a person I still want to cover them in this video because again like I said I don't think I could travel without them so it's completely entirely up to you so I'm going to start off with this neck pillow so I didn't think that I would need this neck pillow but I'm so glad that I got it because honestly I don't think I would have been able to travel on those flights without this. This saved my neck. It's really nice because it comes in this really soft bag. It's called Bedtime Bliss. So the material on this is super, super soft. And the great thing about it, it is a bit more fancy, this <laughs> neck pillow. It took me a while to purchase this because I was looking at so many different ones. But the great thing about this one is you can pump it up yourself. So if you unpop this little bit here and there's a button here, you just pump until it blows the whole thing up. So once it's pumped up, you just pop this little bit back on here and that is the shape of the neck pillow. And the reason I went for this neck pillow is because of this section here, which supports the sides of your neck. So if you fell to one side, it does still support your neck and you don't get sore. The good thing about it is once you wrap it on, it supports the back of your neck. So if you fell back, you're supported because it's right here. You could tie this up at the front, which I did most of the time. And the good thing about it is if it's too pumped up for you, you unpop this and you just push your finger in here and it deflates it for you so you can kind of pick how stiff and how kind of soft you want it. <laughs> I really recommend this pillow. Honestly, it's amazing even for just car journeys, for coach journeys. I think a neck pillow is essential. Getting those ones that are just full of beads, that is not gonna support your neck, let me tell you. I know it seems a bit big. I 100% had to make room for this because this was so essential for my backpacking trip or in general, a trip anywhere. So the second item that I'm gonna show you is this battery pack charger. Again, I got this from Amazon. I think it's so essential to have a battery pack. You might not need one this big because this one is quite heavy, but this lasts me so long. And this will probably charge my phone for a week without me having to charge this up again. It comes in this little bag. So if you drop it, it protects it. And I always recommend that you carry an extra cable. I always carry two cables for my phone when I'm traveling because I can keep one in here and then I'll just keep one in the next item that I'm going to show you. So that one's a company called Anchor. The third item that I'm going to show you is this might not be essential to some people but for me it was because I carry a lot of cables and this is just a cable tie holder so if I unpop it like this you'll see here it just keeps all your cables really really organized in one place so you know that you don't need to go rummaging through like a big bag of random cables everything is laid out for you and honestly this has been an absolute godsend for me because everything is in here I don't need to put them in different places in my bags and stuff so I really recommend getting a cable holder if you know that you're going to have a laptop a phone a camera camera, things that you need to carry lots of cables. This is really, really essential. So item number four is this universal charging plug. This one was really good. I actually searched for a long time for this on the internet because I just needed to make sure I was getting the right one. This one actually covers USA, Australia, the UK, and it also covers Asia as well. And it's also got two USB ports here. And I think that's a USB-C port as well at the top there, which I did use. So you just push these up and you've got different connectors. This is on Australia at the moment but you can move them in and it creates the charging slot for the USA and then you just push it back down and then this is the one for Southeast Asia and the good thing about this is it comes in a little carry case and it also came with a really big cable it's really long I and mean, it connects into the side of that and it also has three different connectors at the end of this honestly this has been again a godsend to me because I could charge quite a few different items with this I really recommend getting a universal charging port because you can get the little ones that you can buy in the airport but to just have one that covers everything it's just so much easier for you going forward. The fifth item that I'm going to show you is this travel case here. This is where I kept my passport.
passport, my documents, any cards that I ended up getting, pictures that I needed to get for the airport. I could store money in there. I could store notes in there if I needed to. It had a little pocket here. I kept all of my flight tickets, which I always kept in this little pocket here. And anything that was like a memorabilia for me to just look at if I wanted to, I came to this space. <laughs> this has been so useful to just have everything in one place. And it's so thin and lightweight that you can just fit it into your backpack that you're using to take on a plane with you. And honestly, it was just so nice to know that everything was in this space. I could also keep money as well in there if I drew quite a bit of money out of the cash point and I needed it to be in a safe space, then this would be where I would store it. And I would lock my bag up as well. So I knew it was always safe. And my passport again, obviously, this is a passport carry holder case. I think that is super essential for all your important documents. The sixth item that I believe for me was really essential was to make sure that I had eye masks. This eye mask I actually got on Amazon. It's very worn now, but it's microfiber. And the great thing about it is it opens up around your eyes. So you can actually blink underneath the mask. It's a blackout eye mask as well. It's nice because this is stretchy and you've got the nose section here. It's covering all of this area. There's no light pollution that comes through. These were so essential for me when I was on the airplane. I would always have my neck pillow and I'd have my eye mask on so that I was completely blacked out. Also when I was in hostels as well, because some people do tend to turn the lights on at random times and you might be on the top bunk and the light could be like right above your head. So just having the eye mask on in the hostels really, really helped you have a deeper sleep. And I think it's super essential. And my friend bought me this. I don't know where she got this from, but this is also really, really comfortable and cozy. This was quite nice to use when it was a little bit colder because it's a lot more fluffier and it is actually really comfortable on. It's nice to have the option of the two, but you don't obviously need to have two. This might not be essential completely, but I always found that a spare pair of headphones really helped. These headphones I bought on Amazon as well, and they are Bluetooth wireless headphones. And the reason I wanted to buy wireless headphones was because I didn't want to have to deal with a cable whilst I was sleeping on buses or planes or anything like that. I just wanted to be able to have the freedom to just have my headphones in and be able to move around without having to detangle myself. So I had a normal pair of headphones, which were just iPhone headphones. And I had bought myself these ones, which came in a really nice little travel case. You charge the travel case and it charges the headphones inside here. So it was always in a really safe space. It's really compact, so it's easy to travel with. They were really good, actually. They didn't connect to my laptop, but they connected to my phone and they actually came in really, really handy. So I really recommend getting yourself Bluetooth wireless headphones. The next item is a water bottle. I actually left without this. And as soon as I got to Asia, I regretted it instantly. And I had to buy myself another bottle because when you buy water out there, unfortunately in Asia, you have to buy bottled water, which means you're using a lot of plastic. Your water literally goes warm straight away. So it's really nice to have a bottle that you know is keeping it cool inside. So when you get your water, you just fill your water bottle straight up, drink the water out of the plastic bottle, and then you know you've still got some nice chilled water. And again, just if you are in any place where you can fill your water bottle up, it's so much better to have a bottle rather than using plastic, which I really didn't like. As soon as I got to Australia and New Zealand, there was water fountains everywhere, which was so great. This is the Hydro Flask. I've had this for quite a few years now and it's still going really strong and I love it. And I would actually have five of these if I could. But I really recommend getting something like this for your travels because you need to keep yourself hydrated and it's so much better for the environment. So the next item I have on this list is this Offspray wash bag. It unfolds like this. It's great because it was very compact. It folded in in the sides, it zips up here. You could hang it if you wanted to in the shower. Loads of different pockets. This pocket at the top here, it actually did come with a mirror, but I broke that by accident. And there's another little bag here. There's two pockets here and then a zip pocket here, which actually opens it out into the back. It's like a little maze, but you could actually unzip it here and open it from that side as well. And then obviously there's this little pocket at the end here, which pops off as well. So this again was super essential. I actually spent a long time looking at different wash bags that were more ideal for just compact travel. And this was perfect for everything that I needed. I travel quite minimal. And again, I got this from Amazon. The next item or items I'm going to speak about, I think are so essential. Anybody that I met when I was traveling that didn't use these, I just... I just don't even know how you coped. <laughs> Everything that I had in my backpack was always in a bag. Most of those items were actually in my main small backpack, but everything in my main big pack pack, 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 pack in my main big pack pack, 
backpack. Everything in my main large backpack was always in a bag. So I'm gonna say it guys, you have to, honestly, you have to invest in some of these. It is so much easier to travel with these and that is packing cubes. You've probably heard this before, but honestly, it's so much easier to know where everything is. And I used all three of these. So I got these on Amazon from a company called Tripped. And I actually think that the people that made these are fellow backpackers. You can get them in a different color as well. But these packing cubes are so amazing. I still use them now to this day. And the great thing about them is you can zip them back up like this. You can unzip this section. So it creates a deeper cube like so. What I would do is I would unzip that bit. I'd fill up my cube and then zip this one back up and then zip this up around the edge of it. And it would completely compress the cube with all my clothes in it. So it made the clothes really compact. So it was easier to pack in my backpack. And I used each different cube for different items. So one item was all for my bottoms. One cube was for all my tops, my dresses. And then this one I used for all of my bikinis. And I actually did take probably way too many bikinis. To be fair, if you're gonna get anything for backpacking, I think that these are probably the most important if you want your life to be 10 times easier when you're pulling things from your backpack because if you don't have these and you've just got clothes folded up in there, when you go to search for an item, you're literally gonna be pulling everything out. Whereas with these, you know which cube it's in, where it is, when you get it out, everything's still in the same place and it's not gonna be all over your backpack and you're not gonna to have to repack everything. It's just in a cube, which honestly is essential. I've also got these other cubes here, which is from Sun Tribe Travel. Travels. They're not as good quality as those. These ones are a little bit cheaper, but they're still just as good. They're a bit bigger, so I didn't use all of them. I think they come with six different cubes in different sizes, and they also come with this little Ziploc bag with a smaller Ziploc bag, and I actually use these quite a lot. You can actually look on Amazon. There's so many different options, but I think the best ones are the tripped. The ones that I showed you previously, they were the best that I found. Trust me, I spent a long time looking for these items that I'm talking about. I didn't just buy it like this. I actually made sure that I shopped around. So I'm, I'm really showing you what I spent so much time looking for and then eventually purchasing because it was going to be a big part of making my life so much easier. So this is for the girls, but the next item I'm going to talk about is the Eco Cup. When you're in Asia, they don't actually sell tampons in Asia. They sell pads, but the pads are actually massive. They're more like nappies. This is great. I'm not going to open it up, but it's a menstrual cup it's so much more eco-friendly than using tampons and pads because that just creates so much more waste and it's not good for the environment once you've got this you've got this for life if you wanted to this is my second cup actually because the cup i took traveling with me i had it for about two years and it was honestly a godsend for my travels great thing about it as well is you can still go swimming with it in and you don't have a string dangling around <laughs> i'm sorry tmi but it's true so yeah i really recommend getting yourself an eco cup so the next item i'm going to be talking about is this backpack here that i got from PackSafe. So I spent a long time looking at this as well. And the reason I'm bringing this into essential items is because this is actually an anti-theft backpack. And I really wanted to make sure I had something that was safe and secure. So the great thing about this one is the zips, you get two zips that open and close the backpack. And if you pull all your zips to this side, it actually locks onto this little hook here. So if you zip up your backpack and it's on your back and you know that there's some really important items in there, if someone goes to try and open your backpack, they already get caught on this little lock here so they can't actually pull it up without you noticing because they're going to move the bag. The material is anti slash proof and there's also cables in these sections here that are wired so if someone tried to cut through it the cable will still be there. It's also got this section here where it unlocks this little strap so if you were sat for example having dinner somewhere and you had your backpack with you you can actually hook this around the table leg if someone tries to take it it's going to take the table with it so you'll have a lot more time to grab the bag before they run off with it I'm not saying that that's going to happen but i just wanted to make sure that i was completely covered because i had really important items in here this zip here at the front as well also there's a little hole here you zip it through that little hole and if someone tries to pull it you can't get through it because it's been locked in by that little bit of material there. I really recommend getting yourself a safe backpack for your everyday backpack. This was the one that I always carried with me. So I would have all my essential items in it, like my phone, my laptop, my documents, everything was in here. And there was a few times where I was in hostels and there wasn't any lockers. So I had to put everything in here and make sure that it was locked up. I don't actually have any on me right now, but one of the items that I haven't got to show you is a padlock that I highly recommend you 
invest in. I only invested in two padlocks. One of them was for my main backpack and one of them was for that backpack. So if I wasn't around my items and it was in a hostel, but on my bed somewhere, I knew that they were safe because they were locked up. And the padlock that I use, I will link down below, but it was a coded one. It took a little bit of time to get into it, but it was always so much more safer than having just like a metal one with a key because you could lose the key. Definitely recommend getting yourself some padlocks. So the next item I'm gonna be speaking about is this Offspray backpack. So obviously it's essential to have a backpack when you're going backpacking. This is actually made for women, but this one I chose, it was only a 40 litre backpack. Most people tend to go for higher litre, but I just wanted something that was small, lightweight, and it didn't mean that I would overpack, even though that might have happened a few times. It always worked out well for me, and I just really, really wanted to bring this into this video because this backpack is amazing. It's gonna last me a lifetime. The great thing about it is you can actually zip the straps behind the backpack so when you actually do put it on the plane it's zipped up behind so it's not like flapping around everywhere there's two different ways to have your handles you've got some pockets in the front here you've got a little pocket here in the front as well which is quite deep you have a pocket here in the front which has got a few little zips here a big section there and then the main backpack is like this here and the great thing about this and one of the reasons why i picked this one is because it opens like a suitcase so i'm not going to be digging in the top for all my stuff and having to pull everything out or from the bottom I I literally just lay it on the ground flat and open it up like a suitcase and then zip it back up like so it just made my life so much easier because i could see where everything was and also this little section here which was also a zipper you've got some ties here that you pull and keep everything padded down and then once everything's packed up i won't do it completely but you've got a couple of straps in the front here that will lock everything in together this is how it comes this backpack was amazing i really really recommend it i actually got this from go outdoors but you can probably buy it on amazon or buy it online or even on the offspray spray website Site, but really really recommend it was very comfortable to wear around my hips as well so because it's designed for women it sat so beautifully on my hips so it was very comfortable although i did overpack a bit too much sometimes <laughs> okay so the next items i'm going to be speaking about aren't that essential to maybe some people but for me it was totally essential and one of them is a speaker now i actually lost the front of this speaker not that long ago which is a shame because it looked really nice but this is a jbl clip three so it's got a little clip here literally it just had like a play button here and a minus and a plus sign it's really lightweight and I just think it's really nice to have a speaker so that you are in a hostel at night and nobody's got one and people want to play music you've got the option to do that and it can kind of get you in a bit more of a social environment which I recommend so there's speakers all over Amazon so you could purchase this same one or just grab one from Amazon that's a little bit cheaper but other than that I really recommend getting a speaker the next item I'm going to speak about is my GoPro so I got the GoPro 7 incredible it is an incredible camera it's an incredible item it's something I highly recommend someone gets if you know that you're going to be doing a lot of adventuring the reason i bring this with me is because i actually bought this case on amazon as well and this case comes with lots of different options so this is actually a wrist mount so you can mount it onto your wrist so say if you are riding a bike you've got it on your wrist i actually put it on in the water so when i was swimming i had my arms out there's just like a case protector here this is actually an underwater camera case so i could use it underwater even though the gopro 7 is actually meant to be waterproof i just didn't want to risk it because i was doing free diving and there's a certain level that you can go down that it is waterproof but I was going down to maybe about 26 meters into the sea so the pressure might have been too much for the GoPro so I didn't want to risk it. I also got a filter for my camera if you're into all of the underwater scene and filming underwater I got this red filter for the front of it and it made such a difference in the quality of the video. It really really helped pop the color out because without that red filter it made my skin look very very white and pasty and the coral didn't look as bright but with the filter it actually made the colour a lot brighter. I really recommend getting yourself something like this if you know that you're going to do a lot of adventuring, you like videoing like I do. Highly recommend. Everything is here in one pot. So I also got this, I'm going to call it a floaty stick for my GoPro because this is super, super important if you're going into the ocean. GoPro sink, just so you know, so there's probably a lot of GoPros at the bottom of the ocean. So this is great in case you do drop it by accident. It's an expensive item, so don't drop it. <laughs> if you've got this, you'll be fine. Yeah, I really recommend getting your yourself a floaty stick for your GoPro. So this next item that I'm going to be speaking about might not be essential to some of you but to me it's super essential and that is my laptop. I think if I didn't have my laptop whilst I was traveling I would have been lost <laughs> in some ways. It's really great to have it when you are booking flights because booking flights on your phone I just find is always so frustrating. It's nice to just have a bit of a bigger space to work from and also if you are documenting your trip, booking visas, if you're booking activities and you need to book it online. All of my travel videos I've done with my 
my camera that I'm filming on now and my GoPro and I edited everything on this MacBook with iMovie so I wouldn't have been able to do any of that without this so I'm really grateful that I took that with me and alongside that I bought myself a hard drive which is a Lacey hard drive again I got this from Amazon as well and this has just been really really great for me because I don't have a lot of storage on this MacBook so having this Lacey hard drive really helps save all of my pictures all of my videos onto this I can then clear up storage in my MacBook so I can actually still carry on filming and whatnot and I still use this now to this day but it's super good investment because I think this is like four terabytes so the amount of storage I can hold on this is unbelievable so really recommend getting one of these and just keeping everything organized so you don't have to come back and do everything in one go so yeah um I think that's everything oh my god all right, my loves, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was quite a long one, but this one I've been meaning to do for such a long time because honestly, everything that I've spoke about here, I used constantly whilst I was traveling and I don't think I could do a backpacking trip without any of this stuff. If I was gonna be arranging a new backpacking trip, these would be the first things that I would grab knowing that that is gonna come with me. So I hope that it's helped. Everything will be linked down below. So if you wanna grab it, just click the links. If I can't find the exact same item, I'll find something similar for you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in episode four with how to keep your money safe whilst back with you. Thank you. Bye.